upload responses properly inside of the software. We'll go ahead and start by creating a survey. And we'll jump into the quick survey builder. Today is December 17th. Let me make sure I spell that correctly. And we'll create our survey. I'm just going to put in a couple of very basic questions, such as what is your gender? And we'll say how satisfied are you with are you with okay now that we have our survey built I'll go ahead and run through some responses we'll run through 15 responses and start that test Now what we need to do is we need to go to our reporting section and download this survey so we see what the actual uh, survey looks like in an Excel file. Just give us a second while it downloads. There we go. The export is complete and we'll go ahead and bring that up and show you what that looks like. So this will be the format that the CSV needs to be in in order for you to upload the responses. And so you'll see the start date, end date, and here's all of our responses. How satisfied are they? And what is your gender? So now what we'll need to do is we'll need to go uh, to import the responses to our view results page. Select responses. Now, in the actual uh, in the actual situation, you won't have any responses in here. So what I'm going to do is delete our responses and then show you how to upload. Once it brings my responses in, there we go. Okay, so we can go to our advanced options. I'm going to go ahead and delete all our responses so that it's more realistic. And then I'm going to say I need to import these responses and I'll show you my example document which will be the actual survey as a CSV file without any responses. And we'll see that it shows me a start date, end date, and my questions. So now what I need to do is take from my other CSV my start date and end dates bring that back here and then come back and get my questions or my responses put those in alright let me get rid of this CSV come back here I'm gonna go ahead and save this to my desktop Okay, and now it's on my desktop, so I'll go ahead and choose this file from the desktop. It's going to say, and it will show up start date, end date, my questions. We can import that. It'll take a couple seconds, and as I close that, you'll see it now it'll resign a response ID, a response type, start date, end date, and how long. So if I'm to go ahead and click on the response type, we'll be able to see exactly what the uh, what the response looks like. And that would be the way to import responses into Qualtrics.